Hello, Dallas Cowboys fans. Today, we're diving into an update that's creating quite a buzz in the football world. We're talking about Jerry Jones, the iconic owner of the Cowboys, and his surprising stance on contract negotiations with two of the team's standout stars, Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb. Jerry Jones is known for his extroverted personality and his tendency to speak freely about his beloved franchise. He's often one to philosophize about the team and share his thoughts, frequently comparing himself to legendary sports figures like Patrick Mahomes or reminiscing about the Cowboys' Super Bowl dominance. However, this time, Jones has chosen a surprisingly reserved approach when it comes to contract negotiations. In an unexpected twist, Jones has decided to take a discreet path, echoing Forrest Gump's famous line, that's all I have to say about that. This change in attitude is particularly notable given Jones's history of extensively discussing any team-related topic. Instead of providing detailed updates and deep analyses, he's opted to remain tight-lipped about the status of the contract negotiations for his top players, Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb. When asked about C.D. Lamb, Jones struck a relatively optimistic tone, suggesting that things were progressing. While this statement seemed to promise progress in the negotiations, Jones's refusal to commit to specific details leaves fans on edge. Progress in the negotiations could be a positive sign, but without additional information, it's hard to accurately gauge the true state of the discussions. The real point of contention has emerged around Dak Prescott. When asked about the quarterback, Jones adopted a much less optimistic tone. He declared that there was no legitimate progress in negotiations with Prescott, raising significant concern among Cowboys fans. Prescott, a key figure for the team, remains hopeful that an agreement will be reached before the current contract ends, but he's also considering the possibility of having to look for a new destination in 2025. The situation is further complicated by Troy Aikman's opinion, a Dallas Cowboys legend. Aikman has expressed that the chances of Prescott signing a contract extension are dwindling with each passing day. This sentiment is reinforced by Jones's apparent reluctance to meet the market value that Prescott might be seeking. The lack of progress in negotiations not only affects Prescott, but also jeopardizes the team's future if these contract issues aren't resolved satisfactorily. Jerry Jones's stance and the uncertainty surrounding Prescott and Lamb's contract negotiations create an atmosphere of tension and speculation among fans. The lack of details and silence on these crucial matters raise a series of questions. What does this mean for the immediate future of the Dallas Cowboys? How will this affect the team's performance in the upcoming season? And what role will each of these players play in the final team setup? So, fans, we're at a decisive moment for the Dallas Cowboys, with Dak Prescott and C.D. Lamb's futures up in the air and Jerry Jones adopting an unexpectedly reserved stance. We want to hear your thoughts on this situation. Do you think Dak Prescott will continue as the Cowboys' leader, or is he really looking for a new team? How will the lack of progress in negotiations impact the team's performance? Leave your opinions in the comments. In a recent practice session, tight end Luke Schoonmaker, who was selected in the second round of the 2023 draft, faced a new setback that could complicate his path with the team. Schoonmaker, who joined the Cowboys with high expectations, was expected to fill the void left by Dalton Schultz, who moved on in the previous draft. Despite Jake Ferguson having a standout season, there was still room for the talented Michigan player to shine in the passing game. During his rookie season, injuries during training camp significantly impacted his performance. Despite his potential, Schoonmaker finished his first year with a modest total of eight receptions for 65 yards. Expectations were high for his second season, and it seemed he was on track to meet them. Schoonmaker had begun to show signs of progress and received praise from head coach Mike McCarthy. Coach McCarthy had noted that all Schoonmaker needed to do was stay on the field to prove his worth and solidify his role as a key piece in the Cowboys' offense. Unfortunately, luck was not on his side. Just hours after receiving the praise, Schoonmaker suffered an injury that forced him to leave Thursday's practice early. This is troubling news for the young tight end, as his ability to stay healthy is crucial for his future with the team. The Dallas Cowboys have a competitive group at the tight end position, with players like John Stevens Jr., 
Peyton Hendershot, and Brevin Spanford all vying for any opportunity Schoonmaker might leave open. Despite his status as a second-round pick, which generally gives players an edge in making the final roster, the competition is fierce. If Schoonmaker can't stay healthy and prove his ability on the field, he could lose his spot to other players eager to demonstrate their value. Additionally, the safety group has also been active during camp, and safety Israel Mokuamu, who has been making a mark with several solid performances, had to leave practice to head to the locker room. Mukuamu's presence has been notable, and his performance in training camp has caught the coach's attention. The Dallas Cowboys will be closely monitoring the development of these players and how their injuries might impact the overall team outlook. Meanwhile, we'll keep a close eye on any updates regarding Schoonmaker and Mukuamu, as well as how the competition at the tight end position and in the safety group unfolds in the coming days. Welcome to our Dallas Cowboys news channel. Today, we're going to talk about a name that's been making waves in the trade market, Khalil Herbert, the running back from the Chicago Bears. This player could be a fantastic addition for the Cowboys. Let's explore why. Khalil Herbert has showcased impressive performance in recent games. In the Hall of Fame game, he demonstrated his explosiveness by averaging 8.8 .8 yards per carry, running 35 yards on just four attempts. Last season, in 12 games, he accumulated 611 yards and two touchdowns on 132 carries, along with 20 receptions for 134 yards and an additional touchdown. While Herbert's pass-blocking ability might be a concern, his agility and explosiveness are highly attractive to any team. The Cowboys, after losing Tony Pollard to free agency, have opted for a committee approach in the rushing attack, with veteran Ezekiel Elliott as the main figure. Adding Herbert could provide a significant boost. His lightning style of play would perfectly complement Elliott's thunder, offering a dynamic option on the field and a potential receiver out of the backfield. With Saquon Barkley moving to the Philadelphia Eagles, the Giants need to replace that production. Herbert, with his ability to make explosive runs and his average of 3.03 yards after contact, could be the weapon that Daniel Jones needs to strengthen the New York offense. In the AFC West, where the Broncos face Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs twice a season, adding depth to the running game could be key. While Javante Williams and Samich Perrine are solid options, Herbert could provide a change of pace alternative to help rise in the ranks in Denver. Khalil Herbert has the potential to be a great asset for the Dallas Cowboys. His ability to break plays and his dynamism could be just what the team needs to enhance their offense. While the Giants and Broncos are also interested, Herbert could fit perfectly into the Dallas scheme, bringing speed and versatility to the backfield. What do you think? Should the Cowboys make a move for Khalil Herbert? Leave us your comments, subscribe to the channel, and like the video for more updates on the Dallas Cowboys. See you in the next video.